So we want to parameterize our build configurations even further. So again, if we look at the two build configurations that we have by going to their edit settings page, we will see that basically they have the same build steps. So one of them has a build step that says restore dependencies and it runs the .NET command with restore and it has a solution name for restore solution name is optional just in case you wonder why the other build configuration doesn't have the solution name so if I go to the second one again we have the same build steps so we have restore and publish so again when you have same things same steps or you are repeating a task you have to start thinking why I don't parameterize it I method parameterize it so if we want to parameterize this basically this bit doesn't need any parameterization because as I said for restoring dependencies in .NET you don't need to provide solution however if you want you can optionally do that so imagine that we had done that so that can be basically just be a parameter because the same step exists in the other build configuration and likewise for publish we have a project name but the command is same the output folder is same everything is same so why don't we just parameterize these two this is very useful you might say it's cleaner if we don't do this yes that's correct however if you want to make a change into your project then you have to do it here build configuration that will take a lot of time on top of that if you want to run team city at a low cost you are not going to buy a license because the license is expensive if your team is small you want to keep the total number of build configurations under 100 and total number of build agents under three you can have up to three build agents without buying a commercial license and if your team is small and you have up to 100 build configurations then you don't need to uh, pay and buy a license so that means that if we can basically have only one build configuration for dotnet core projects and use parameterization then if i have like say in my team or company 50 different applications I won't need 50 different build configurations. I would only need one and that will help me to keep my team city in three tier so to do that what we can do is that maybe we can get rid of this CICD demo tool to delete a build configuration we just go to edit configuration settings page and you see there is an action menu in here at the end there is a delete button and I can delete the build configuration so that is gone so for CICD demo, again, I don't want to delete this, but if I want to use parameters, I have to give it a generic name. And let's say we can say .NET Core. And for parameters, I need to parameterize the project name and solution name. I already have a parameter in here, which is called repository, and that gives me the name of the repository, okay? so when we create artifact we can use that so instead of like CICD demo dash artifact I can use that parameter you know that to reference a parameter I can use percentage user defined parameters always come on the top so I can click on that so percentage repository percentage will give me the value of a variable or parameter called repository. So if I uh, set the value of repository to CICD demo, then my artifact name will be CICD demo dash artifact .zip. So we save this. We go to build the steps in restore. We can say there will be a parameter called solution or solution name, for example, and for publish, there will be a parameter called project now if i want to run this i need to provide value for parameters so there are three parameters that need value right now one of them is the repository one of them is solution one of them is project for repository uh, now the value is set however if i want to change this value every time i run a build configuration i have to provide value for these three so I cannot just say, okay, go run it because SimCity will not be able to connect to source control and will not be able to find solution and will not be able to find the project. So what should we do that TeamCT will display a prompt and says, give me the value for these parameters every time we run a build. For that, we have to go back to build configuration. We go to parameters and for every of these parameters, we have to click on edit button. In this window, there is a button which says specs. We click on that and there is a field called display. 
and we can change this to prompt if you want you can change the label as well for example we can say enter dotnet project file name something like this and you can even uh, decide that what type of control you will get on the screen you can get a checkbox you can get a password you can get drop down list of items and you can get a text box and you can even define some sort of validation so this value cannot be empty so i can say not empty or not null and if you want to enforce a certain format you can use regex so I save this. So when uh, you define a spec, it comes here as a uh, descriptive language. You can either edit this or you can do that via the menu. For repository, we can do the same thing. We can click on edit, we can click on spec. For the label, we can change this to GitHub repository name, for example or just repository name. Display is gonna be a prompt. That means that every time I run the build, I will be asked for the value and the type is text and that text cannot be empty and I save. We do the same thing for solution. Again, I go to edit. I click on edit in spec and label is .NET solution file name. Again, display must be prompt so that Team City will ask us for a value. The type is text and text cannot be empty and we save. So now if I go back and I click on run, you will see that I get a window with three parameters that I have to provide value for. The first one is enter the .NET project file name. If we go to GitHub, the .NET project file name is this CICD demo.cs project. We can provide like this. The repository name is CICD demo2. Imagine I want to build this repository and .NET solution file name was as basically CICD demo solution and if I run build you see that the build is being executed and I get my artifact and as you see the artifact has the repository name in it automatically so by doing this and parameterizing it, I already have only one build configuration. I can use this for as many .NET Core as I have and I wish as long as their format is similar, they are in the same organization and they are basically .NET Core projects that I can run with the same commands. If there were some minor changes, again, you could do a further parameterization but the actual benefit is that if i end up having like as i said 50 of these projects then only by providing different parameters i can only have one build configuration in team city and build all the 50 projects and that will help me to keep the number of build configurations under 100 and use team city for free